The Northmen say the world will come to an end. The sun will grow black. The earth will sink into the sea. The stars will disappear. Fire and water will meet. Flames will play against the sky. The heavens and earth and all the world will be burned. All the gods will be dead. And the warriors of Valhalla and people everywhere. Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Ben, I'm that bearded guy, and this week I've been playing Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice for the Nintendo Switch. So you play as Senua, a picked warrior, as she battles the gods of the underworld in a quest to reach Helheim, where the soul of her partner Dillion has been enslaved by Hela. Deep in a state of psychosis, the distressed voices in Senua's mind create despair, whilst simultaneously guide you to identify the next action. A king in the north. Although it's a third person, the floating camera hovers closer towards Senua's right shoulder and is purely intentional, so you can focus in on things like artifacts and other objects which you need to look at. The puzzles, uh, whilst they're challenging, they really make you think outside the box in a twisted reality that functions with a different set of rules, uh, where nothing is as it seems. But with no tutorial, markers or maps, you're led naturally by the terrain to follow the correct route, although sometimes you do have to go back on yourself in order to complete the challenge. So in this example I'm using this portal here to reveal the area where I need to move to next. Now if I hadn't used that portal then this wouldn't be visible. The combat gameplay, whilst it's not the main element, only complements the enthralling storyline and is really engaging and skilled as you wield your sword, defending against these enemy strikes and launching into attack. You can also use focus to gain the upper hand, which essentially slows down time so you can gain the advantage. Now one thing I've never seen before is a completely blank screen. There is absolutely nothing. No character markings, no health bar, absolutely nothing. So Senua's health is actually denoted by dark rot, and that's uh, you can see it just on her, her right arm there. And if it reaches her head, um, then it's game over. Now it wouldn't be much of a review if I didn't mention the phenomenal sound effects. Uh, there's dark undertones, there's harrowing screams and an atmospheric surrounding. Uh, but it's best played with a set of headphones on because the voices, they genuinely feel like they're whispering right in your ear. In all honesty, I don't think the hairs on the back of my neck got a break the entire time I was playing this game. Waiting for you. So in summary, I absolutely love playing this game. It's like nothing I've ever played before. Everything just feels right. The compelling storylines, the stunning visuals, coupled with the ambient sound effects and the vocals make this a truly fantastic game. 